How can you turn off Jenkins security? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.1. In order to turn off security on a Jenkins controller, there are a couple of different ways to do it. First off, right now I'm logged in as an administrator on this controller. We can see that I'm logged in as admin. And if I go over to manage Jenkins and scroll down to security, then I'm able on this page to go ahead and disable security for this controller. The way that we'll do that is we'll change the security realm from Jenkins own user database or whatever you might have over to none. Now also, in order to completely disable security, I need to change authorization from logged in users can do anything or whatever the, your option is to anyone can do anything. So what I have is security realm set to none and authorization, anyone can do anything. Now, if you make this change, your controller will be wide open to anyone that has access to that controller. Now, before I click on save, look up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll still see the admin user. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now, you'll notice up in the right-hand corner, I don't see a logout anymore, and I also don't see my user. So I have effectively been completely logged out of this controller because there is no authentication or authorization set up on this controller right now. Now in real life, I would not want to have my controller this wide open. Now in this scenario, I was already logged into the controller with a user that had full administrative privileges on the controller. So I could go to Manage Jenkins Security and make the changes. But let's say for a moment that you've now inherited a Jenkins controller and you don't know a user login that has administrative privileges. You're at the point to where the only thing you can do is have access to the file system for the controller. How can we change the controller to turn off security so we can actually get everything set back up correctly with known users? Before we do that, let's go ahead and go back into Manage Jenkins. Security, I'm going to go ahead and turn security back on to prove that everything is still logged in. So I'm gonna go back to Jenkins own user database. I'm going to be a little lazy and say, logged in users can do anything. So at least I have to log in. And I'm going to uncheck allow anonymous read access and click on save. Now, because I was cookied, the admin user came back, but still, let me go ahead and click on log out. I'm gonna type in my login user. Now we can see we can log back in. Well, let's say for a moment, I'm now logged out and I don't know what user credentials I can use to actually log into the controller. The previous administrator left or whatever may have happened, I need to be able to disable this so I can get back into the controller to make the changes. There's a link to documentation down below this video about disabling access control. Now in the first example, again, I went through the UI because I had administrative privileges. But in this example, I don't have administrative privileges, but I do have access to the file system on the controller. Two different ways we can do this. We can modify the config XML for the controller directly. That's what we'll test in just a moment. Also, if you're using Jenkins configuration as code, you can use configuration as code to disable all the authentication and authorization. But for our example, we're gonna take a look at using the config XML. Now again, I don't know my login. Just pretend I don't know my login to the controller and I need to be able to get back into the controller. If we take a look at our example, we'll stop Jenkins. We'll go into the Jenkins home directory. We'll open the config XML in the home directory and we'll look for use security true. We'll also look for security realm and authorization strategy. We're gonna remove them and we're going to replace use security true with use security false and then restart our controller. So let's go ahead and go do that. So I'm inside of my controller. Let's go ahead and CD over to my Jenkins home directory, which in this case is varlib Jenkins on my controller. Let's edit my config XML. Now we can see our use security is set to true here. Let's go ahead and disable this and set it to false. So I'm going to insert false. Now taking a look at the documentation again, we need to delete security realm and authorization strategy. So we can see here, here's our authorization strategy. There's three lines and we also have security realm, which is four lines. So let's go ahead and delete all seven of these lines. Now, if you're doing this, you may ha have more than seven lines. You may have less than seven lines. It just depends on how your controller is set up. So what we have is use security is now false. We've removed both security realm and authorization strategy. So let's go ahead and save this. Now notice I haven't restarted my controller. So I need to do system CTL stop, which I should have done to begin with. Let's go ahead and verify that my config XML is still okay. So there's my faults and the other two values are gone. 
Let's double check our instructions again. Stop, home directory, change config XML, set true to false, and remove security realm and authorization strategy. All gone. So let's go ahead and start up our controller. So we'll say system CTL, restart Jenkins. Now, if we go ahead and go back over to our controller page and refresh this page, We'll notice once it completely starts up, we'll land on the home screen for our Jenkins controller. And now we can see, taking a look at our controller, we don't see a login at the top, we don't see a logout link, and we're right here on the home page of our controller. If we go into Manage Jenkins and go down to Security, what we're going to see is we still see, well, just like we did with the manual version, Security Realm set to none and anyone can do anything. Again, we would go in, change this to whatever authentication service that we want to use, and then also for the authorization, we would change that to whatever we would want there, making sure that we already had our right users that we can log in with. We would uncheck allow anonymous read access and then click on save. We would be redirected back to our Jenkins login page and then log into our controller. And now we're logged back in as our admin user. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not take a moment Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.